Neha Parashar working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. In today's video, we are going to talk about the investigational new drug application that is IND application in US market. If you have ever got a question in your mind like when the drug is not yet approved in US market and we want to use that drug for clinical trial purpose in US, then how this drug can be used? Is there any regulatory process or approval pathway before using the drug for clinical trial in US? And what is this concept called investigational new drug application, that is IND application? What does this actually mean? Why and how the submission of IND applications are done? Also, during this entire process of IND applications, how can companies communicate with US FDA? What are the requirements for IND submission in US? And so on. Lots of similar questions like this. In this video series, we'll talk about all these aspects about the INDs. In my last video, we talked about what is clinical trials and what are the phases of clinical trials. If you have not watched that video till now, then the link for the same has been given in the description box. If you like to know more about that, you can go and watch that video. So now we know what is clinical trial. Now let's come to today's topic. Before starting each phase of clinical trial, we have to submit an application to US FDA. This application is called IND application. Only if US FDA is fine, we can proceed with the clinical trials. But if there are any objections from US FDA, then our clinical trials can be put on hold. This is called as clinical hold and we cannot proceed to the next step. So basically in a nutshell, we can say that before conducting the clinical trials in US, the submission of IND application is necessary. Now the next question comes, who can submit these INDs? Is it me? Is it you? Or anyone on the planet can submit the IND application and proceed with the clinical trials or there are any specific rules for it. So to answer that, these IND can be submitted by pharmaceutical companies, which are called commercial INDs, or they can also be submitted by physicians, which are called special INDs, or sometimes also called as investigator INDs. We'll talk about the types of INDs in detail in a separate video, but for now, you know that they can be submitted by pharmaceutical companies or by physician or investigator. Once the IND are submitted, then the obvious question which will be coming to your mind is, do we receive any approval letter from US FDA for these IND applications before starting the clinical trial? Are you thinking the same? So the answer is no. US FDA does not send any formal approval letter. That means these applications are not approved. Rather, they are reviewed and assessed by US FDA. If there are no objection from FDA in 30 days, then companies can start the clinical trial. But if US FDA has any objection or they need any additional information during the review period, they'll ask us to provide that information. In that case, they will put our clinical trials on hold, which is also called as clinical hold. Do you remember I mentioned it sometime back? That's why in a practical experience, companies generally wait for FDA's response or they wait for no objection letter, even after the 30 days period is over. Because it's a huge risk for companies if they start their clinical trials after 30 days and then health authority come to them and ask for any information. Now, here comes a very important point. It's not only US FDA who perform the review, but there is one additional committee who performs the review of clinical documents, for example, clinical protocol, informed consent, and so on. And we need their approval too before starting any clinical trials. Do you know what that committee is called? Any guesses? The committee is called Institutional Review Board or in short form it is called as IRB. Just to explain you in a very easy way, this board or IRB is kind of an independent group. They work for the rights and welfare of human. So they make sure that companies follow all the applicable laws and they prevent the harm to the human which are used in the clinical trials. So now you know once the US FDA review the IND application and IRB approves the clinical protocol and other related documents, then only the clinical trial can start. So do subscribe my channel and click on the notification bell so that you will get to know about my next upcoming videos from this series.
But before we end this video, do you know in which types of INDs the prior approval from IRB, that is Institutional Review Board, is not needed before starting the clinical trials? If you know the answer, then please comment in the comment section. I'll reveal the answer next week. Till then, let's stay tuned. Thank you.